Hey guys, Sparta here, and today we're looking at my PlayStation 3 collection. Uh, now, I've been collecting PlayStation 3 games since, I want to say, 20... Tw yeah, 2012, because um, uh, June 2012 was my 13th birthday, and that's when I got my PlayStation 3. So, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this... Meaning this collection is about roughly through six years or so. But uh, yeah, here we go. So first we have Burnout Paradise. Basically the last Burnout game. If you don't want to count the uh, remaster of this game that recently came out this year. Um, fantastic open world uh, arcade racing game. <clears throat> Blur, very underrated game, not a lot of people know of this game. Definitely pick this game up, it's super fun. Uh, it's basically real licensed cars combined with an arcade style racing game. Kind of Mario Kart-esque where you're using power-ups and stuff like that, so very, very fun game. Next we have Driver San Francisco, the final uh, Driver game. Hopefully Ubisoft one of these days will make another uh, Driver game. I own this game and I also own the first, or the uh, original uh, Driver on the original PlayStation. So, but uh, yeah, very great story in it too. Next we have F1 or Formula One 2013. Codemasters really know their stuff when it comes to uh, the Formula One games. Very great game. Godzilla, this is the only, uh, funny story behind this. I could not for the life of me find the uh, US release of the, the PS3 version. So I literally had to buy the European version instead. Um, which is why it's got a Peggy rating, because um, Peggy ratings are uh, Euro uh, European games. So, but uh, yeah, it is complete, like pretty much all these games, except for a couple are complete. But uh, yeah. Now, I do want to say that the um, PS3 version isn't as great. Really, the only thing it does better than the PS4 version is um, it ha you can uh, use your own custom soundtrack, which is really cool. So, which I'm kind of sad that the PS4 version didn't do that, but or didn't support that anyway. But uh, yeah. <clears throat> Next, we have Gran Turismo Five. Pretty good game. It's not, it's not my favorite in the series, um, but it's still, still a great game. I mean, all, all the Gran Turismos are great, um, but uh, yeah. Next we have um, the XL Edition, which uh, basically is the 2.0 version, um, so very cool. Love my Gran Turismos. Gran Turismo 6. Very sad that this game uh, shut uh, shut down its servers uh, just, just recently, um, right at the end of March uh, this year. Um, I remember uh, I played like the last hour uh, before they, uh, they shut the, the online servers down. Because the, the online was definitely by far the best part of this, of this game. Um... The rest of the game was kind of a kind of a big disappointment. I mean, no endurance races. More than half the cars didn't have interiors. You know, it it was it was a big disappointment when it came to uh, uh, the, the single player. So, but the online was definitely the best part. I remember spending like hours upon hours on online with Gran Turismo Six. Gran Turismo Six has to be the game I've played the longest online with. So most of my friends from PlayStation Network 
come from playing that game online, so. Next we have Grand Theft Auto 4. And my voice just kind of gave out there. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 4. Uh, it's, what, what, can, what can you, I mean, what can you say? It's Grand Theft Auto. Um, very fun. Um, just very fun game. There's not, I mean, there's not really much to say about it. I mean, Grand Theft Auto, that literally says what, what the game is about right there. But, um, yeah. Next we have Grid, my favorite racing game of all freaking time. This game is amazing. Even if you're not a racing game aficionado like I am, you you still got to get this game at some point. I mean, it's it's amazing. The I mean, look at the look at the visuals in this game. And this is from 2008. This is from 2008 and this still looks amazing. Um but uh, yeah, plus you can you can have your own teams. Very rarely I've seen a racing game where you can actually have your own team and teammate. That is very cool. Um, but uh, yeah, and this game has the Le Mans 24 Hours in it too, so it's not another bonus. I just freaking love this game. Definitely pick it up if you, if you can. Next, we have Grid 2. This was kind of a letdown for me. I was really hoping this game to be better than the first, but it ended up being not as great as, as the first. But um, it really focused more on street racing more than uh, uh, more than uh, road racing and circuit racing like the first game did. Um, and the physics I wasn't too fond with. I, I didn't really care for. Um... Uh, I really prefer the physics in the in the original better, um, but uh, yeah. Next we have Grid Autosport, the third game in the series. Codemasters, where is a fourth Grid? I have been waiting for like four years, and there has not been a fourth Grid. What the hell? But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is Grid Autosport, third game in the series. It's better than, I would, I would say it's better than Grid 2, slightly, but it's still, to me, not as good as the first. Um, there's still things that this game was missing that the first game had, so, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And this is the limited black edition, which comes with an extra car, so... But, uh, yeah. I swear to God, Codemasters, they focus on... The, all they focus on now are the freaking dirt games. And that's it. It's like, come on, where is another grid? Next, we have Lego The Hobbit. Very fun Lego game. Um, I really wish you got to play as Smog. That, that's kind of... I, that's kind of like my dream Lego Hobbit game was to like play as, as Smog because that would be so cool. But sadly, nope, you can't. Um, he's really just kind of a side character in this game. But yeah, another disappointment about this game is it does not include the third, uh, the third uh, movie part in it. Um, we were hoping it was going to be included as DLC because this game came out about when the second movie did, so. But, uh, yeah, it just never happened. Hopefully LEGO do make another game like as an expansion to this or something, but, uh, yeah. Next we have Midnight Club Los Angeles, the complete edition, the basically the final Midnight Club game. Freaking, I wish I had it on Xbox One, because I heard the online servers recently came back up for that, but on the PS3 version, it doesn't work, so. But yeah, still a great game. I love me some Midnight, Midnight Club. But, uh, yeah. Next we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, my favorite Need for Speed game of all time. 
this was actually the first game I ever owned on P on PlayStation 3. Um, very great game. Very fun. Uh, High-speed action thriller. Basically what you want from a game like this. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, when I got my PS3 when I uh, on my 13th birthday, uh, this was the game I got with it. So... But, uh, yeah, very, very great game. Definitely recommend it. I mean, look at how many awards this thing won. Like, it's it's insane. And look up the freaking E3 trailer. Look up, look up the E3 trailer for this game. It is amazing. That trailer seriously wanted me to buy this game because that's what really made me so hyped to get this game in the first place was the freaking awesome-looking trailer, uh, trailer. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Next, we have uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, a Criterion game, limited edition, also known as Most Wanted 2012. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty great game. I don't know why Black Panther says this is, like, the worst game. It's not. Um, it uh, That game, that title goes to another game in the series, which I'm about to get to, but, um, at least in my opinion, but... Um, uh, this game, it, I I actually really liked it. Um, it definitely uh, holds up compared to the uh, the original. Um, I mean, it's obviously not as good as the original, but um, it's definitely interesting to see like a, a kind of reimagining of uh, of uh, most wanted. But uh, yeah, this, in my opinion, is the worst need, need for Speed game. Need for Speed Rivals. Do not buy this game. It is terrible. The, the bugs in this game are atrocious. Um, for some freaking reason, EA never fixed it. Because, I mean, they were only given like six months to work on this game. So, yeah. Uh, don't buy this game. That's That's all I'm saying. Just... Do, do not buy it. Avoid this game as much as possible. <clears throat> but if you are a Need for Speed Need for Speed aficionado like I am, then of, of course you're going to buy it. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Next we have a Need for Speed Shift. Different direction with the Need for Speed series, uh, going for more of a, more of a sim, uh, racing style. Pretty great, though. Pretty decent game in the series. Next, we have Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed, or just Shift 2 Unleashed, whatever you want to call it. I freaking love this game. Still haven't beaten it yet, but I'm close. I'm like 96% or something like that. But, uh, yeah, very cool game. Uh, definitely the best in, in the Shift series. Over 140, 140 cars. Fantastic, fantastic game. Next, we have Need for Speed The Run. Love this game. I don't know why so many people don't like it. I love the story, love the physics. Um, love that you can, you know, play as an actual character. Um, very cool, um, but, uh, yeah. Also love how this game pretty much in really inspired the Need for Speed movie with, uh, Aaron Paul in it, so, but, uh, yeah. Need for Speed Undercover, pretty, pretty good game. The physics aren't that great, obviously, as you've, many people have played this game probably know, but... Um, I do kind of, I do really like the story and the, the car list and stuff like that, so, yeah. <clears throat> Getting near the end, we have Ratchet & Clank All for One. Sadly, the only Ratchet & Clank game I own at the moment, but I, that will be expanding hopefully soon. Um, it's, it's a decent game. It's not one of my favorites in the series, but it's, it's decent. The favorite, my favorite one that I've played, I rented it a long time ago, and it was uh, a crack, a crack in time. So far, that's my favorite game in the series because the story and 
uh, gameplay was just amazing. Next we have Ridge Racer Unbounded, pretty much the last console Ridge Racer game. Uh, I really hope that Bandai Namco, or, or just Namco, make another Ridge Racer. I freaking love Ridge Racer, it's an amazing series, um, amazing arcade racing series. Very different tone with this game, you, how you can like smash through buildings and stuff. Very different tone from the, the other games, but very great racing game. Uh, for sure. Definitely pick it up. Next we have Split Second, a very underrated game. Uh, Black Panther played this game on his channel uh, recently, I believe. Um, in this game, you basically blow up, you can trigger power plays, which blow up other uh, other cars racing with you. It's, it's really cool. And Disney, very unexpected, but um, yeah. Very, very fun game. And finally, to top this collection off, we have The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon, my favorite video game of all time. 10 out of 10. Love this game. Um, the story, the characters, the graphics in this game are amazing. I mean, for 2008, this the, the graphics in this were amazing. Um... Very, very beautiful uh, 3D environments. Um, and the, vo the voice cast is, was also really, really well done. Um, Elijah Wood, Gary Oldman, Christina Ricci, just a, a whole lot of Hollywood actors. Um, so. But, uh, yeah. I definitely do want to do like a live let's play of this game when the 10th anniversary of this game comes up. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's my entire PlayStation 3 collection. Um, there are games that my brother had or has that, uh, uh, I play as well, like Black o Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2 and a Lego game called Lego The Lord of the Rings. Um, but I don't know what he did with those <laughs> so um yeah there's also a downloadable game i have the only downloadable game i have on ps3 is uh the first part of the back to the future uh game but yeah there you go that is my whole playstation 3 collection i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you guys later bye